Hello guys and welcome back to another video here on KF Plus LEGO Mastery. Now in today's video what I have for you is a VR4 LEGO vacuum engine. Now if you know what VR4 engines are, you'd know that they were originally built by Volkswagen and were implemented in some early model Volkswagen um, cars in the 80s and 90s. What this engine is, is basically a recreation of a VR engine in the form of piston layout. Now I'll get more into detail about that later, but real quickly, let's do a 360 degree round tour of it. This is the intake, by the way, with a slide throttle. So yeah, this is my VR4. I'll get a little more into detail on how this engine actually functions and why I think it's considered a VR4 in a little bit, but first, let's run it. So guys, now that we've actually ran this engine, let's take a little closer of a look of how this engine actually works. So right off the bat, as you can see, there is only one crankshaft, or at least one output from the engine. And this is because there is only one crankshaft running the pistons, the valves, basically the center of the whole engine. So if you look closely, as you can see, this connecting rod actually slants down into this center point here, along with the one on this side. This goes for the same for the valves, as you can see, and this set of pistons back here. Taking a look at the top of the engine, as you can see, I have removed the cylinder heads, and now we can see inside all the cylinders. As you can see, each cylinder fires independently, and every piston is in a different position at the same time. As you can see, it does incorporate single valve system, if you couldn't already tell, as well as four by four pistons also, if you couldn't already tell. It also implements the one by one hole upgrade for better airflow and higher power. So yeah, that's about the top of the engine. Now let's take a look underneath. 
taking a look underneath the engine, as you can see, both the valves and the pistons are operated by a single crankshaft. And the reason why I call this a VR engine is because there is a very, very small V angle in the cylinders that allow it to have a compact design, a, sort of like a cross between a V engine and an inline engine. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And I haven't calculated the actual cylinder bank angle yet. I believe it's about probably 15 or 20 degrees. It's a little more than an actual real VR engine, but it's enough to still be able to call it a Lego VR engine. There are definitely ways to make this a more realistic looking VR, but for the time being, this is as best as I can do with Lego because achieving this, the very narrow angles is difficult. Anyway guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe as it means a lot to the channel. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. See you later.